Okay, so um, one morning while I was in the bathroom, I passed out while taking a really intense shit. <laughs> and at the emergency room, the doctor asked me what happened, and I said, it felt like I had to shit out a football. Like a regulation NFL football. And it was painful, and I couldn't make it stop, and I got sweaty, and I got dizzy, and I got lightheaded, and I passed out. And the ER doctor asked me, has anything like this ever happened before? And I said, yes. Uh, it wasn't the football deal. It was like more of a regular, bad, intense bathroom situation. Uh, but it was many years ago, and I was in the situation, and I got sweaty, and I got dizzy, and I got lightheaded. But what I did was I kicked my pants off my ankles to get some better leverage. <laughs> and a couple minutes later, I took off my shirt to wipe the sweat off of my forehead and then used it as a, like a pillow when I put my head in my hands just for some comfort. But it didn't matter. I got more sweaty, more dizzy, more lightheaded, and I passed out. And when that happened, my body went into convulsions. And my wife at the time came running to see what was going on, and she opened up the bathroom door, and what she saw was me, unconscious, convulsing, completely naked. <laughs> at that point, I fell on the floor, and I kind of uh, woke up, and she said, don't worry, the ambulance is on the way. And I looked down, saw that I was naked, Realized I had a shit-smeared ass. And I said, no, cancel the ambulance. Cancel the ambulance. So we canceled the ambulance. I told the ER doctor that story, mostly. And she asked if anything like that had, had, had ever happened again. And I said, uh, well, almost. A couple years ago, um, I took my boss to a Phillies game. And on the way there, we stopped at a bar for a drink. And I got the feeling like there was going to be an intense bathroom situation. So I ran to the men's room, and when I went in there, I saw four things. Two urinals, one toilet stall, one oversized bathroom attendant wedged between the sink and the toilet stall. So I'm in the toilet stall, releasing all kinds of hell and fury, and I'm getting sweaty and dizzy and lightheaded. And apparently I was getting a little smelly because the attendant stood up, reached over the stall wall and emptied a can of air freshener on top of me. I think that helped bring me back to life. I was able to finish up and get out of there without incident. I, I tipped the attendant. I felt like I owed him that much. We got to the Phillies game and uh, the feeling came back. So I ran into the bathroom at the Philly Stadium, and if you've ever been to a Philadelphia sports venue's bathroom, you know it's no place for the weak. Um, but there I was, um, very sweaty, very dizzy, very lightheaded, and just before I passed out, I texted my boss, need help, find me in bathroom stall. <laughs> and I have to imagine him looking at this text message with no context and asking himself, how much do I really even like this guy? <laughs> Luckily for me, I never had to find out because somehow I got through it, I was able to leave the bathroom and off to the game we went. So I told the ER doctor that story, kind of. And she said, has anything else ever made you pass out? And I said, yes, I'm very squeamish. Um, the sight of or even the thought of people with gross bodily injuries makes me want to faint. So the emergency room is an awesome place for me to be. <laughs> like when the attendants were changing the bed next to mine uh, and were chattering about the, all the victims that were coming in from this really gnarly car crash, I got a little sweaty. And when the woman across from me with the third degree facial burns was moaning in pain, got a little dizzy. And when the announcement came over the intercom, uh, housekeeping to the triage bathroom, Housekeeping to the triage bathroom. I got a little lightheaded. But luckily, a minute later, the doctor came, told me what had happened to me, said I was free to leave, and I got the heck out of there. Four days later, I had a follow-up with my family doctor. 
And he comes in the room, and he's studying the notes that he'd gotten from the ER, and he says, so, did you ever shit out that football? <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's my shitty story.